This house is a typical example of modern Maltese architecture, which features clearly defined structures and a smooth, bright exterior. The Edwards live here northeast of Valletta with their daughter Isabel, who lent her name to the family home. Hello, welcome to my house. From the front door, you can see all the way through to the garden and the swimming pool. This visual access makes the outside area appear as part of the living space. The Edwards moved into the house in 2016. Russell, an internet expert from Britain, and his wife Lorena have traveled extensively and moved house 13 times already. Here they finally feel at home for the first time. I like the natural light. I like... Um, it just flo uh, flows really nicely, so I always feel at home. There's something lovely about waking up here every day and pretty much the sun is going to be shining. Um, and that's really nice um, because the sun makes you happy. In order to bring the natural warmth inside, the owners relied completely on wood as a design element. The entrance area is almost completely panelled with oak and looks like a huge walk-in sculpture with indirect lighting. I was worried that they will take a lot of my space because they were talking as well behind of these units you can store things so we have a furniture actually here so i thought that it will take the space of the entrance but like i said you you are witnesses this looks fantastic a white niche in the wooden wall in the foyer is mirrored by a similar shaped shelf in the kitchen was trying to put the house all together because white is very clinic, very, I don't know, minimalistic, but for me it needed to have a little bit of warmth. So the wood here was a fantastic idea and I think that is different to any other kitchen. It's designed for me. I like it like that. The architect wanted the solid dining table to form a line with the kitchen block, but that proved to be impractical. If you've got to walk around this entire length of this thing, then that's a long way. So what we tend to do is we tend to, to pull this down a little bit and then we can, we can quickly skip through that bit there, which makes it a lot easier when you're, you know, uh, putting the food on the table every day and stuff like that. So, yeah, architects have got great ideas um, that sometimes you, you change a little things here and there. The staircase of the multi-storey building with 400 square metres of living space is decorated with a motif wallpaper that features perplexing space perspectives. The master bedroom on the first floor is decorated in quiet beige and earth tones in harmony with the wooden structures on the ground floor. As is the colour scheme in the living room. A built-in wardrobe is hidden behind the dark blue wooden wall. The living room is the focal point of the house. Normally we'd sort of turn the lights down and, um, and just relax. It's one of the, if I don't say, the only lounge that we have really sat down and enjoyed a drink. Usually in other homes that we have lived before, never happened. This is my chilling point. I'll like put my cushions right and then like, um, uh, since we have like a radio here, I'll, I'll love to dance here. The door to the garden usually remains open in the evening. After all, mild temperatures prevail all year round on the Mediterranean island of Malta.